Franken Crayon by Michael Hall. Official notice. This picture book has been canceled. Please close the book and find something else to read. I can't believe it's been canceled. It was my first starring role. It was my first supporting role. Help! Someone just turned the page. Take my hand. Hey, someone must be reading this book. You're right. I'll talk to them. Uh -huh. Hello out there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this picture book has been canceled. Tell them what happened. Tell them about the scribble. And don't leave anything out. Well, let's see. In the beginning, everything went according to plan. The crayons were in their costumes, and I was getting them into position. This should be fun. I'm so excited. I hope I don't forget my lines. Frank and Crayon, go to page 22. That's where you'll make your dramatic entrance, just like we practiced. Right, got it. Page 22. The story began with the frightened townspeople talking about a horrible monster lurking in their town. There is a horrible monster lurking in our town. Oh no, I'm so scared. Suddenly, without warning, the lights went out. Amber, what is it? Someone turn on the lights, please. It was a scribble. It went all the way across two pages. It's horrifying, hideous, horrendous. A scribble can ruin a picture book. Don't worry. We'll take a short break while the crew cleans the page. But... The scribble got bigger. I think we made it worse. It's absolutely awful, appalling, atrocious. It's making a mess of our story. Cast members, we need more help. Even four crayons scrubbing hard couldn't stop the scribble. Well, that didn't go well either. It's distressing, disturbing, dreadful. We need more help. Hurry, please. But the scribble was out of control. It's alive. We've created a monster. Let's get out of here. The story was falling apart. And that's when the really terrible news arrived. Official notice, we regret to tell you that we've decided to cancel this picture book. How come? We're almost halfway done. Official notice, because no one likes to scribble think. The characters are gone. Isn't there supposed to be a mad scientist in this story? Yes, but I dropped the mad scientist because he was difficult. Official notice, we know you're disappointed but we ask that you leave this book right away. What could I do? I turned out the lights and left. And that's what happened. Whoa, hang on. That's not the whole story. You know what we're talking about? How you forgot to tell us. Okay, okay, let's see. Well, I was pretty upset at the time and in my sadness, I forgot to tell Frank and Crayon. So on page 22, roar! I'll turn on the lights. Wait, where are the frightened townspeople? Isn't this page 22? Hello, who are you? I don't think I can talk. Let's give it a mouth. Hop off. Hello, I need to get moving. I'm late for an important event. Can you help me? Of course we can. It's what crayons do.
I'll fix you up in a flash. Thank you. What a beautiful scribble. I wish it didn't have to go. Come on, let's find the frightened townspeople. Eventually, I came back to look for the costumes and found Frank and Crayon eating oranges in the green room. Where is everybody? I have terrible news. We have a few things to tell you too. I guess that's about it. We'll probably never know who scribbled on the page to begin with, but at least this has been a learning experience for all of us. Right, lesson number one, don't forget to tell everyone when the story has been canceled. Lesson number two, don't try to unscribble a scribble by scribbling on it. Lesson number three, even a messy scribble can be a lovely thing. Goodbye. Screech! Wait! Don't forget lesson number four. Never drop the mad scientist from the Frankenstein story. Official notice. <laughs> and that's the end. Thanks for listening to Chom Stories.